Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. Our Tesla Model X was just in the shop getting its Hardware 3 upgrade and uh, I've got some things to say about it. So first of all, <laughs> there's one thing that I'm super excited about in terms of the upgrade uh, and what new functionality it provided. And then I'm profoundly disappointed <laughs> by a feature that it did not bring. So just for a little bit of context, this is a 2017 Model X and it had uh, Hardware 2 and MCU 1. And then after the upgrade, it now has Hardware 3, but still MCU 1. And there's a lot of uh, debate in the forums about what kind of functionality us owners with a previous Hardware 2 and an upgrade to Hardware 3 with the MCU 1, just what features we are actually going to get. Well, I'm going to tell you today, good and bad. All right, so the first thing that we're going to look at is the profound disappointment part. And I know a lot of people have been speculating whether or not the full self-driving preview was going to be available to MC, sorry, um, hardware 2 owners who just upgraded to hardware 3 on the X and the S and also with MCU1. MCU1 being of course the media control unit. So the first thing I want to point out is that no, there is no full self-driving preview. Uh, you cannot see stop signs. Uh, let's go try another one coming up here. And then we're going to go and test to see whether or not uh, we can see a stoplight, but I highly doubt it. Um, so again, drawing your attention to the display, there is no visualization of that stop sign. All right, let's go find a traffic light. Okay, we are approaching a traffic light. Let's keep our eye on the panel for some visualizations. You can see we see motorbikes. Um, that's nothing new, but here it does not see the lights. So there you have it. Uh, the profound disappointment part is that uh, if you had hardware two and you upgraded to hardware three on your model S or X and you still have MCU one, you are not going to get the full self-driving preview. Now, the question is, um, is Tesla, you know, have they not just released it? Because I know they just started rolling out hardware two, sorry, this hardware three upgrade for owners of hardware two. So it could be that they just haven't enabled it. It would really, really be sucky if it required uh, MCU two upgrade, which is I think about 2,500 US dollars. So. With that out of the way, let's go talk about what I'm absolutely stoked about. And here's the pleasant surprise bit. I was wondering about this. Uh, I haven't seen another video. I'm sure there's some out there, but I haven't seen any. So this was a surprise to me, but dash cam is now available as a feature for owners who um, of a Model S or a Model X, again, who have uh, the upgrade from Hardware 2 to Hardware 3 and MCU 1. So yes, you do get the dash cam. I'm really, really stoked about that. I've already tested it. It works. Curiously enough, uh, I remember reading in a forum somewhere that there was some speculation about whether the, the repeater cameras on the Model X with Hardware 2.0 were black and white or color. So I can tell you definitively, because I've already looked at this, that my repeater cameras are full color, uh, just like my Model 3. So this is absolutely amazing. So now you have dash cam. And by the way, with dash cam comes the, also the ability that you have full sentry mode. Previously, us owners with hardware 2 on a soft, on a software, <laughs> on a Model S or a Model X did not have a uh, full sentry mode. It's kind of like fake sentry mode where it just, you know, puts a warning on the screen. Um, it would play loud music if someone tried to break in, but you could not record video uh, prior to the Hardware 3 upgrade. So I'm pleased to also announce that with Sentry Mode, you can absolutely record video. Uh, it's full Sentry Mode, just like you would expect from 
uh, Tesla brand new if you, you bought it today off the lot, so to speak. So there you have it. That's the good, the bad, and the ugly about what to expect from a hardware 2.0 to hardware 3 upgrade on a Model X or a Model S with hardware uh, 2.0 and MCU1. So with hardware 3, that's what you get. Now, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments if you've had a different experience. Perhaps you're in a different geography. I'm located in Canada. If you're located in the US and your experience was different, I wanna hear about it. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Tesla Canuck, over and out. Thank you.